Mtazamaji ni kwamba waziri wa usalama wa ndani Dr. Fred Matiangi amehakikisha kamati ya usalama bungeni kwamba uchaguzi ujao utafanyika kwa usalama tofauti na hapo awali. Waziri Matiangi aliyohojiwa na kamati hiyo amedokeza kuhusu mikakati serikali iliyonayo ili kuhakikisha uchaguzi huo haujakumbwa na vurugu zozote. Aidha Matiangi amewalaumu wanasiasa kwa kufanya siasa za uchuki akirejelea kisa kimoja ambapo ndege ya kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga iligongwa mawe mtazamaji na kundi moja la vijana kutoka kaunti ya Wasinigishu Matiangi amesema kwamba vitendo kama hivyo huenda vikasababisha vorogo kwenye uchu, uchaguzi mkuu ujao. Dennis Mnene na taarifa hiyo kwa kina. Nipokuwa um, uh... kwenye mahojiano na kamati ya bunge ya usalama, Waziri Matiangi ameeleza matayarisho iliyonayo serikali ili kuhakikisha imekabiliana na uwezekano wowote ulegevu wa usalama kwenye uchaguzi mkuu ujao. We have more resources than we had in 2017. We have more personnel than we had. Our police population ratios have uh, significantly reduced. We are prepared, we are sufficiently resourced to uh, support the conduct of the general elections. I however must hasten to add that the conduct of elections is not our responsibility, it's the responsibility of the IBC. We will support the IBC to ensure that they conduct the elections. Where we will be called upon to provide services, we will provide services. Waziri Matiangi kwenye mahojiano hayo akisifia hatua za serikali za kuhakikisha kwamba uchaguzi ujao umefanyika kwa usalama. As we have been planning uh, for the elections and, uh, and so on, we, we have infrastructure across the country and we are picking up information. Aidha Waziri Matiangi amewashtumu vikali wanasiasa kwa kufanya siasa za chuki huku akisema kwamba vitendo kama hivyo na hatua kama hizo huenda zikaiponza mipango ya serikali. Matiangi aliyekuwa akirejelea visa vi hivi karibuni vya wanasiasa kuvamiwa na makundi ya vijana cha hivi karibuni kikiwa kile cha Raila Odinga amesema kuwa wanasiasa ndio wakulaumiwa kwa kuwa honga na hata kukodi na kuwabeba makundi ya vijana say this very openly and sincerely to you as the committee in charge of security what we have picked up that is going to be a danger in this year's campaign process and elections is voter bribery and the renting of groups of people young groups of people and so on who are being paid money whether they are border border ferried from one end to another end that is going to become a problem and if it doesn't stop as you move along towards the elections uh, because every group will be mobilizing and every group will be renting their own you know motorcycles and their own border border people the clashes will intensify so it's upon us as leaders to decide how we are going to to conduct ourselves because the, the, all those things we are seeing like what we saw in Wasangisho it's indisputable all those fellows who were arrested they had money who would have, how can it be condemned that you are carrying thousands of shillings broken in 50 shilling notes hata hivyo waziri matiangi ameeleza kutokuwa na wasiwasi wowote kwa usalama kwenye uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka huu nikiripotia mwele wakak mimi ni denis munene